got a new message on our phone here. And we are out early this morning. Well, actually, it's not too early. It's probably about 8 to 7 here. Piper's going to the toilet. <laughs> we'll give Piper a little bit of privacy as he goes to the toilet. <laughs> But anyway, good morning guys and happy Easter. It's the beginning of the Easter long weekend. So we wanted to jump on, say happy Easter. I'm out with the two boys. We're having our morning walk. And Piper is mosing along here. Mosing along. And Spencer's actually very engrossed at the moment in his this is this is his mobile phone. So we've all got devices in this house. Oh, and it's actually just started to spit. It's actually just started to spit a tiny bit. I mean, just a real, just a real sun shower. Oh, I know, and we're still yawning. Still, still pretty early. Well, let's pop that there. But you know what, a walk, a morning walk is just the ticket to get our day off to a good start. And Piper really agrees with that. Piper really agrees that Piper's having another pit stop. Piper agrees <laughs> that a walk is a good way to get a weekend off to a good start. Now he's zigzagging that way. All right, we're going to pop that in there. There we go. Yeah, hello, love. Spencey's happy at the moment. He's busy. Oh, well, yeah. Famous last words. Okay, Piper, move. I think that little grizzle there was a mummy. Keep the pram moving, please. <laughs> so we will keep the pram moving. But happy Easter, everyone. Here comes a cycle. Yeah, there's a cycle. Yeah, it's the long, it's the Easter long weekend. And there's another bubby coming towards us in a pram. A lot of locals out early. <laughs> Piper's keeping us holed up. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> yeah, Piper's keeping us busy. Piper's keeping us busy. Oh, hello, Joe. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, aren't you a legend? Thank you, my friend. How are you? We haven't spoken to you for ages. How are you going? <laughs> oh, wasn't that nice of Joe? Do you want to say happy Easter to Joe? Hey, say happy Easter. <laughs> Spencer's very engrossed right now in his um, device. We're a bit addicted to devices. We should not be so addicted to devices. <laughs> We're just at a busy crossing, so I will just, um, oh, we'll try and actually, we can cross now, there's no cars. There we go. We just dashed across the road. I'll um, catch up with comments in a second. <laughs> Oops. Thank you. Yeah, Piper's, Piper's just gonna go across here. This is Piper's favorite section here. He, um, he always stops here to... Yeah, Spencer's having a yawn. <laughs> oh, when you're like, yeah, I know, during the week. Yeah, you would be usually at work doing, yeah, that is very, very true. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, Joe. I can actually see your comments now because we were just crossing the busy highway. Oh, yeah, Spencer's, you're gorgeous, aren't you? Yes, you are. <laughs> Spencer's just giving us a nice smile. Yeah, you're beautiful, aren't you? Yes, you are. Look at all these teeth. Do you know, we've had so much teething. Last last week, we had so much teething. We had all the, we've got molars now. You've got molars on the side. So anyway, how are you, Joe? It's so nice to see your um, name pop up as well. Piper, Piper is stopping us again. He is so slow. Oh, Piper's actually having a pit stop. Hang on. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's really good having a break. 
That's awesome. So you got a break from work. That that's really good. Good on you. Like that's something to really look forward to. June is June is such a cold month up here. Like we um Oh actually some June. Sometimes it's not June's not too bad. I'm just trying to think something else is happening in June too that I just can't remember. Something um Oh you're off to Victoria in June. Oh that's gonna be so nice. That's gonna be awesome. It's so good to get away. Oh, now I remember. That's what's happening in June. I've actually been called as a witness for a friend's case. So, dear, no, now I remember what's happening for me in June. <laughs> Just when he said June, I thought, oh, hang on, that's ringing a bell for me as well. Yeah, I've got something on in June as well. And ironically, I might actually be going down to Victoria for a little bit in June. My friend's got a case in, um, in the Victorian courts. She's a primary school friend of mine, and it's a bit of a sad case, but yeah, that's what I've got coming up in June. Yeah, good on you. That is really awesome. That's so good. What the best thing is having a really long break, because then you can actually do something like, you know, just a couple of days off in a row. Doesn't really do it, does it? You need like a whole month. <laughs> Yeah, you need a whole month to get into something decent and have a good break. <laughs> you do. You really do. Yeah. Thank you so very much, though, Joe. Honestly, for your support. That is really kind of you. I really appreciate you. That's so, so kind. Yeah, Joe's a good man, isn't he? Hey? Joe's a good man. Do you know Spencer's really getting into trucks? The second time, well, yeah, well, good on you. You deserve to get a month off. Like a month, a month will go fast too. A month's not that, you know, it just, it go, does go really quickly. I know some people that have taken like three months off for long service leave. So a month will fly by. But um, yeah, I wanted to tell you, Spencer's really getting into trucks. Like he loves, whenever a really big truck goes past, what he's really into at the moment actually is the recycling trucks here in Surface Paradise. Every time there's a recycling truck now that goes past, he gets really excited. He waves at the driver and the drivers, <laughs> the drivers are so nice. Drivers of trucks are real legends. They see this cute little boy in a pram waving at them and they just go to town. They wave back and it really makes their day. <laughs> yeah, you love the big trucks, don't you? Oh, May, you've got your, your birthday in May. That's so funny. My birthday's in May as well. <laughs> May's a good month to have a birthday in. <laughs> and I was born in Sydney. I don't know where you were born, but I was actually born in Sydney. <laughs> yes, they are. They really are. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're so nice, aren't they? They're so happy when Spencer waves at them and they wave back and... Oh, I think it makes everyone's day. <laughs> yeah, no, they're really good. They're awesome. You do like trucks. And, you know, we've got a um, recycling truck at home, don't we? We've got your big recycling truck at home. So we've been playing with that too. Dubbo, Dubbo born and raised. That's cool. Next time we're down that way, I'll have to drop in and have a proper, proper notice of Dubbo. I mean, I think we've driven, part, driven through it. Man, yeah, Dubbo is nice. It's a nice part of the, beautiful part of the world. So what's the weather down there like for you? Up here, it's, um, it's not too bad actually this morning. We've had a rainy week actually, but yesterday, oh, it was so ironic. This happens every time. I got a gift card for Indota Spa here in Surface Paradise at Christmas and I hadn't had time to use it because things have been so busy. And so it was for a, just a, a simple skin peel. And you wanna stay out of the sun when you have a skin peel. So of course it's a rainy week and I think, okay, well I'll go across the road and have it on Thursday. So of course I book it in, running late, run over. And of course Thursday's the first day, it's just sunny as anything. So I'm having a peel. <laughs> Coming back full sun, it always happens. Honestly, it always happens. 
It's rainy for the whole week except the week, except the day when I go and get a peel. Yeah, I know, it sucks. Starting to cool down. Yeah, same, same here. The nights are getting cooler again. Yeah. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, car's just going past. There you go, car just went past. Yeah, we get very excited by cars. We like cars, don't we? Trucks are better though, we like trucks. Trucks are the, trucks are the good ones. But yes, it's definitely starting to cool down here too. With um, the nights are cooler, the mornings are cooler. Still nice and warm during the day though. Obviously, this is the Gold Coast, but we do get cold in winter though. We, we, we get cold winters. Now, we've just come up to another road, so we're gonna cross here. We're gonna cross here. <laughs> Morning. Oh, let's cross. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I know, we've got the sun. Sun in your eyes a little bit. We'll move past here. Come on. We're just going past some cafes here. Oops. There we go. Oh, road trains. Yeah, he really would. Yep. <laughs> He's fascinated by the tram too. He absolutely loves the tram when the tram goes past. And in fact, one morning he waved at the tram driver as well and mate, he loved that. The tram driver really enjoyed that. <laughs> Didn't he? It's nice. It's really cool. Yeah, they're so nice. And buses, he loves buses. All the big vehicles, basically. We, we love them. Oh, look, it's windy up here. <laughs> I think someone needs a haircut. <laughs> I can see that because I've just got the phone in the little holder in the coffee cup holder here. Huh? And I can see, what, I can look down and I can see what it's picking up and look, Spencey's hair. <laughs> yeah, it's windy, isn't it? It's actually not too bad. From his hair, it probably you probably think it's a bit windier than it really is. It's, it's just kind of a breeze, but it's really picking up his fine hair. <laughs> yeah, you've got fine blonde hair, don't you? Yeah, beautiful hair. Mummy, love your hair. Oh, buses for Brisbane Transport. That would be really cool. Yeah, I knew someone who drove buses, actually. I haven't seen him for ages. He went to yoga class. So um, that's where I met him, actually, at yoga. But I haven't been to yoga for years either. I do Pilates now. I needed the hardcore stuff. <laughs> yoga, yoga wasn't doing it anymore. <laughs> I need a Pilates to strengthen up this core so I could lift, lift people that are 16 months old. <laughs> I needed a bit more muscle on me. <laughs> but no, that, that's so cool. Driving, I reckon driving the heavy vehicles, the big vehicles, God, that would take skill though, wouldn't it? Like, imagine parking one of them or reversing in them or, like we've seen, you know, the huge trucks here. Oh, actually in Tamworth, we saw some real big ones. And um, and one truck was, I think, reversing into Coles or Woolworths or something. And yeah, I, I watched the driver doing the maneuvers and I thought, wow, that must be hard. Yeah, yeah, there really would be. There really, really would be. I would struggle driving a little smart car i haven't driven for ages i renewed my license just recently in fact that's the shorts that um i don't know if you saw that did it run i think it ran yesterday at 12. we were at um queensland transport and spencer was waiting very very impatiently crawling across the floor it's always fun being at a government office with a baby but yeah i renewed my license because it, it it had expired i had a victorian license and i had a camry in early beach where we lived but i um it's all right darling we're going but my friend was having a baby up there and we were moving down to the coast and i knew that i wouldn't really need a car in surface paradise and i had a i had amity i had a baby so and the car was old so i gave her the car anyway but um so i haven't had a car for years but 
If I did get one, I think the only car I'd be brave enough to drive these days would probably be just a little smart car. <laughs> little mini car. I could probably handle a little mini car. <laughs> Oh, wow, yeah. You know, I really, I really believe that. I really do. Yeah, the, the skill and the mechanics required for those huge vehicles would be a lot. Oh, yeah. Perfect with the double clutching. I would, I would smash in two seconds, I think. Yeah, I would not know how to drive them, would I? It would not be good. Oh, someone's tired. Someone's a bit tired. Oh, Piper, move. Piper's pulling us backward. Piper's pulling us backward. Didn't you say you had a Camry? I, 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 I remember. I think you might have said that you've got a Camry as well. I mean, I don't have my Camry anymore, but I, I love Camrys. Camrys are good cars. Camrys are nice and reliable. we go back into the shade. Piper, you can go to the toilet at this tree. Here we go, Pixar can... Yeah, I know, they've got music on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. I agree. It is. Camrys are good. <laughs> Do Camrys make little tiny smart car things? Because, um, yeah, like I said, if we ever get a second car. Although you don't know if it's worth it, really. Like, running a car is so expensive. Our car is again at the... And we're getting it fixed again. It is always getting fixed these days. It's falling apart. It's um, it's probably reaching its use by date, to be honest. Oh, well, Piper's going to the loo. Piper's going to the Piper's having Piper's having another pit stop. Yeah, darling, Piper's having another pit stop. Piper's having another pit stop. Oh no, darling, that's Piper's poop. You can have. Oh no, sweetheart. Yeah, I've got a rust for you. Yeah, here, here, here. I've got a rust for you, darling. That's Piper's poop, darling. I've got to put it in the bin. There we go. Whoops. We um, we're getting very, we're getting very good at letting Mummy know exactly how we feel. <coughs> darling, it was. I'm sorry. It was Piper's poop, sweetheart. We've got to put that in the bin. We don't want to. <laughs> We don't want to play with that, do we? <laughs> yeah. Toyota small compact car. Oh, the Yaris. Corolla cross compact SUVs. Yeah, I know that would that would be nice. Like I, I do agree. SUVs are great. They're they're good, um, but I I do want a very little car just for myself. <laughs> I do agree though. The SUVs are really good. The Yaris. Yeah, I might look up the Yaris. Whoops. I didn't realise that was Toyota actually because I haven't looked at cars. Yeah, like I've just been obviously the IVF and baby and pram. I've looked at a lot of prams. I know all about prams. The pram is our car. <laughs> like the pram literally is our car. I'll show you the pram. I'll pipe up. Piper's just pulling. Here's Piper. He is just... This is what Piper does, our whole walk. He just goes from goes from little um, bench to bench and just sniffs everything. But anyway, this is our car. So I've got it all packed. We've got spare spare clothes, blanket in there. We've got Piper's pickup bags. We've got Sunnies in there. We've got wraps, water bottle. This is literally our car, isn't it, darling? This is our car. I really do 
count it as my car. I even vacuum it out once a week. I do because the base here, the bottom down there, gets all sandy and gritty. And so see, you can probably see, oh, I'll see keys are in there as well. Like this bit here underneath gets really sandy as we're walking. So I even vacuum it out. I do. This is our car. And it's a pretty good one, actually. It's a, it's a good pram. I like it. But a lot of people are now saying to put Spencer facing forward. Oh, hi, Danny. How are you, my friend? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Hello. What's the time over there for you? It is, for us here, it is... Actually, what is the time? Oh, it's just gone seven. It's seven o'clock here. And for you, Joe, it would be eight o'clock, wouldn't it? Because you're an hour ahead, New South Wales. I think. I think. Is, is um, daylight savings still on? I think it is. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us, Danny. We really appreciate your support, my friend. Like, thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for liking all your comments. We're very grateful. And thank you for supporting Gary's channel too. I've seen your comments there as well. We're really grateful. <laughs> and yes, it was sad about that cow, wasn't it, on the farm? Yeah, but the cow did really well after, because Gary put up a video about a cow on Golden Hill Farm that had a really large abscess and they drained it. His son, his son operates a farm, Golden Hill Farm, and they were able to drain the abscess actually. And the cow was a lot happier for that. Yeah, you're chewing your rusk. I should have given you your rusk earlier. Yeah, I should have given you your rusk earlier. <laughs> Hello, Gary. I saw you were live streaming. Do you know, you are such a motivation for me. Thank you so much. And your sunrise was looking absolutely spectacular. <laughs> And the cow video is a really good video. 8 a.m. Yep, in New South Wales. Okay, I thought so. When does daylight saving end? I thought it was around this time, wasn't it? it it's towards, it's in autumn, I think, that it finishes. But yes, no, it's a really good video. Yeah, Gary's, Gary's here. Gary was doing a live stream. And, and if you haven't seen the video on Gary's channel of the cow, do check that out because hopefully you'll be able to like sort of you know understand where we're coming from with the video in terms of it, like it's just it's it's rural Australia it's rural Australian farm life you know it's a cow that had a really large abscess and they're genuinely doing the best they can for the cow and they drain it yeah we're gonna wait yeah there's a tram darling look there's a tram look he's see he's pointing at the tram he's getting excited there's a tram hey do you want to wave at the tram do you want to wave? Do you want to wave at the tram? Hey, there goes the tram. Hey. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, up the G-Link tram, that's the one. There it goes. <laughs> I think um, that way is going to Broad Beach South, I think. Gary, please correct me if I'm wrong. My sense of direction leaves a lot to be desired. But yeah, no, it's, um, it's a video that shows, you know, sort of in, in real brutal reality what, what life is like on a, on a rural farm, basically. And it's, it's genuinely helping this cow. And yeah, the cow's a lot happier when it has this large abscess drained. But still, it is hard to watch at times because, you know, the... the the cow obviously isn't enjoying having the abscess drained there for a bit, but, but it's a good result, so that's what matters. The cow lived, which is really good. Yeah, that was the tram. Yeah, the G-Link tram. So yeah, anyway, it's an interesting video, so if you've got time, jump on and have a look if, if you want to. Pizza, come on. Piper is being so slow. And yes, Gary did a beautiful live stream this morning of the sunrise. 
It was gorgeous. What time did you start that live stream, Gary? Because it was looking so good. When I saw it, it was, it was quite dark. Because we were, we're up early. We're, we're very early risers in this house. Very early risers. Some nights we don't really even bother sleeping at all. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Actually, I think I do remember Luke, so that's Gary's son, was, was talking. They weren't quite sure what was in the huge lump at first, whether it was liquid or... I don't know if they mentioned gas in the video. I'll have to re-watch it, but... Just after five, you were doing the live stream. Yeah. Yeah, it was still dark. It was still sort of darkish when I saw it. But um, it was looking so beautiful. You had the clouds there and everything. It looked really, really good. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, Gary, when, when Luke went and saw the, like, the huge lump on the cow, did they wonder if it was... Did they think it was cancer or gas or or something? Or, or did they... I think they weren't quite sure initially. But it did seem to be liquid, like heaps of liquids pouring out of the abscess. Like it's just a lot of pus comes out. Yeah, just after 6 a.m. your time, Gary was live streaming. Yeah, Gary was up early, wasn't he? Hey? We were all up early. Everyone gets up early in Queensland. <laughs> It was so funny. When we were going through IVF, we went down to Victoria a lot because we went through um, Melbourne IVF for quite a few rounds. And we'd go down to Melbourne for egg pickups. And, um, and I remember getting up in the hotel room and going for early walk. And it would be about six o'clock in the morning and it was dark as anything and ev no one was around. Like the streets were empty. And this was in, oh look darling, there's a recycling truck. Look recycling truck yeah look one just went up the road i sort of missed it going past but look it's gone up there yeah that was a recycling truck we love the recycling trucks oh prolapsed uterus yeah wow poor cow did the cow survive do you know and what happened did they did they give the cow a hysterectomy or is that something that um you would not perhaps <laughs> give a cow <laughs> I'm not sure I think for a human if you have a prolapsed uterus I don't know if they can fix it <laughs> a roto pack in action yeah <laughs> I know it's so cool oh that poor cow though it must have been in agony a prolapsed uterus oh wow do you know, after Spencer's birth, after I had the, um, I had a postpartum hemorrhage and they put a baccary balloon in my uterus to, um, it sort of works as a band-aid. It, um, oh, the prolapse uterus, an instant death. So yeah, I, I can, I can, well, I can understand that. I can. Oh, poor cow. I feel so bad. I do. I do. As a, as a fellow mother, I feel really sad for that cow <laughs> that she gave birth. Was it after birth? Was it after giving birth? Is that when the cow had the prolapsed uterus? I imagine it probably was. Although maybe not necessarily, I don't know enough. Bye. Oh, that's so sad though. Yeah, okay, it could be fixed, but it would happen again, yeah. Um, I had a baccary balloon put into my uterus that acts as a band-aid. It sort of presses against the wall of your uterus and puts that pressure on to try and stop the bleeding. And it was so uncomfortable, though, in my gut. But then, um, well, well, obviously my uterus, but it, it, it's in your abdomen, basically. It fills up your whole abdomen. And then they, um, yeah, then they took it out. The obstetrician took it out. And I had a huge clot still there. And he was trying to take the clot out. And it was agony and I've got a really high pain tolerance but that it was really 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 sore like it it really hurt yeah he was trying to excise a large clot still from my uterus and it was agony it was so painful unfortunately I was awake for that procedure and not good <laughs> not good is it 
Not good. Not good. Piper's just having another pit stop. So we're in downtown surfers here. We're in the shade here at the moment. The sun's hitting those top buildings there. But we're in the shade. Oh, and the little one's yawning. Little one's yawning. Oops. Oh, Piper's pulling. Yeah. Oh, I know what I've got here. I should have taken out your wrap ages ago. Oh, really? Here we go. Usually we take out a wrap probably about here. Yeah, I know. I forgot. I forgot. There you go. How did that sound? I mean, how does that feel? Oh, I tell you what, I can't even... Some mornings I can't even string a sentence together properly. You know, I honestly haven't slept properly for 16 months. That's how old you are, you're 16 months. Actually, even before that, <laughs> even before you were born, sleep in pregnancy is surprisingly terrible. <laughs> I would wake up all the time. Yeah, it was probably because I was so anxious. Probably because I was so anxious. See? Yeah, there's a bike. There's a bike. Yeah, there's a bike going. Oh, we're going to pass another pram. There's lots of prams out in surfers at this time of morning. Hey, hey, lots of kids out. <laughs> lots of kids out in prams. Oh. Do you know, I see a lot of dads out with their kids in the morning. I think, I think all the mums have kicked the dads out with the kids. <laughs> they take the kids for a walk. Whereas in our household, it's the opposite. I love taking Spence, I love taking the two boys out for a walk. It's the highlight of my day, to be honest. Some mornings, though, it's just the best way to start the day. Even if you're tired, it just makes you feel so much better after just getting out and having a walk. I've already had a cup of green tea, though, this morning. That's my go-to. I love green tea. Look at your hair. You do need another haircut. Although you can have long hair if you want. I don't mind. I like your hair. Yeah, Easter traffic. Oh, the traffic on the Gold Coast. I don't know if you know much about Gold Coast traffic. It is so awful. Our highways are not big enough. We don't have enough lanes to cater for all the traffic. And that's on it. That's on normal. That's just for locals. Like even during the week, Gary will attest to this. It can sometimes take half an hour to get across Chevron Island. Like it's absolutely ridiculous. And um, yeah, journalists are getting younger. <laughs> journalists are getting younger and younger. That's funny. You made me laugh. Spence is a very good journalist, aren't you, darling? You know, yeah, you know a good story when you see one. Hey. <laughs> yeah, he's my little sidekick. He does a great job. People are very happy to talk to Spencer, aren't they? <laughs> That's funny. Thank you for making me laugh. <laughs> yes. yes, he is. He's getting very good at multitasking. <laughs> Even when he's tired, look, he's still working very hard. <laughs> That's funny. You made me laugh. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you're a little journalist, hey? Spencer can be a little investigative journalist. What do you think? Yeah. He can be a little journo. 
<laughs> oh wow, yeah, would have been. What happened to the bridge? Here, yeah, fight the urge to sleep. Yeah, that's where coffee comes in. Mummy has coffee. Oh, gee, I love coffee. I don't have too much though. But yeah, what happened to the bridge? That's really bad. I mean, oh, yeah, speaking about bridges, I'm sure you saw on the news that bridge in um, somewhere in America. Wow, that would have been so bad. Oh, there's a bubby being carried in a harness. Yeah, we are getting tired. We're just crossing the road here. Oops. Oh no, oh that's so sad. Oh, Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah, thank, thank you. Oh, that was that would have been terrible too. Oh, that's really sad. I'm really glad though. Um, I'm just and the police came in to get them down. That's I'm really glad. You know, the police do such a great job. I'd be so proud if Spencer wanted to be a police officer. I think they do a really good job. <laughs> get the kids some shades. Yeah, he does actually. I've got a really good shorts actually that I've scheduled to come up. He's got sunnies on. In fact, I've already posted it on my Instagram. You can actually see it. I put, um, what song did I put on it? Gary's seen it probably, I think, yeah, because he liked it. Um, Wild One. I put the song Wild One, and he is. He's wearing yellow sunnies. He looks so cool. But yes, I agree. Well, he does. He needs sunnies every day. He wants to get you some sunnies. And <laughs> That would be so funny. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Hey? <laughs> He's a cool dude. You're a cool dude. Yes, you are. Oh, those poor people in Maryland, though. I think six people were killed, and the really sad thing is they were bridge workers, I, I think, trying to get the last of the people off the bridge. Isn't that always the way? It's the it's the workers that are trying to help other people that then lose their lives. Yeah, the ship loses power once. Oh, it's so sad. And it would have been terrible for the people that were at the controls of that ship too, knowing they couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, I know. Sorry, darling. There's a lot of sun. I'll try and chase you. We won't be in the sun for long. Yeah, no, that was absolutely terrible, that incident. <laughs> Mild turbulence. <laughs> All right, let's go into the shade here. Oh, yeah, someone's, someone's looking like they might need a nap soon. Here we go. Here we are. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was lucky that they got a call in because if they hadn't, imagine that. Do you know, when I saw that footage, I thought, wow, that's exactly what you see in the movies. Like, it just looked like a movie. It looked like I was watching a scene from a movie. But it's so horrible to think that it's actually real. Yeah, Piper's here. Well, look, we're almost home, guys, and Spencey's tired. I think he's, um, we're probably just going to give him a feed now and then pop him down for a morning nap. He's actually battling a little bit of a cold at the moment, so we're oh, all... Yeah, oh, there you sit, Zoe. Look, he's getting chatty. Piper's raring to go. You're getting chatty, oh, yeah. aren't you? Do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Do you want to say bye, Joe? We say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, that's it. But thank you so much, Joe and Danny and all the rest of you for your support. We are so grateful for you watching the videos and liking and just supporting our channel and all your kind comments and 
honestly. And yeah, just thank you, thank you so very much. And yes, happy Easter to you too. Very, very happy Easter. And join us next time we're live, if you're able to, if you're not at work. <laughs> yeah, no, we say goodbye. Do you want to wave? Do you want to wave? He's probably not going to wave because no one's actually walking away from him. <laughs> he only waves when people are walking away from him. Yeah, Piper's pulling hard. <laughs> okay, bye. And yes, happy Easter to you guys. Bye. We're saying goodbye now. You want to wave? Bye. <laughs>